last night, Miles became the latest celebrity, le celebrity to leave the jungle as the countdown goes on, as the final gets ever closer. Well, during his time in the camp, Miles admitted he had a little bit of a crush on R. Kate, which we will be grilling him on in just a moment. Take a look at this. You're one of my TV crushes. Hello, get in my bed. Ooh. You're beautiful. It's nice to hear, isn't it? Go away in the bed. Mm. I'm, I'm shy. Naturally, I'm a shy. So lean, brother. <laughs> Thanks, brother. <laughs> 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 I think he might have been being kind. I suspect it was his charity work for the year. Ah. And Miles joins us now live from the Palazzo Versace on Australia's Gold Coast. Good morning to you. I mean, maybe it's just as well you're out, because who knows where that would have gone to. But what was it about our Kate, then, that caught your eye? <laughs> Good morning, guys. Um, it was just Kate. She's just, honestly, she's beautiful. She's funny. Um, yeah, she's just, she's just really hot. Um, and <laughs> yeah, she's, she's just, she's just, honestly, her personality, her personality is amazing. And um, yeah, I just, I, I just clicked with her, you know? You did. We could see that, Miles. Uh, have you seen Derek since you got back to the hotel? Have you seen her husband? <laughs> I literally saw Derek about 15, uh, 15 minutes ago. Um, and, yeah, we had, we had a nice conversation. But, um, yeah, he's got nothing to worry about. He is much better looking than me. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not condoning that, obviously. <laughs> I love too much. I loved a little bit too, <laughs> too much, Dan. I have to say, though, Miles, we know that Kate is very special. But you've got to know our Kate and the others in the jungle way better than you could possibly have imagined. What was the experience like for you? How has the last couple of weeks been? Honestly, it has been the most beautiful, amazing, most kind of memorable experience I think I've ever had in my life. Um, like you said, I've got to know all of these people that are so iconic in what they do. And honestly, I was t at the start, I was taken back by it. But um, face value, you kind of think, oh, look, for instance, Caitlyn Jenner, she is arguably the biggest name uh, in the world at the moment. And when you actually get to speak to people like Caitlyn, um, she is doing so much motivational, inspirational stuff for 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 the world and the trans community and it's 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 beautiful to see but everybody i can't i can't fault any one of them and did it feel a bit surreal for you because of course you know two years ago you won the x factor before that life was quite different wasn't it mm. yeah life was totally different um two and a half well two and a half years ago now i would have just been going into the audition for x factor um so my life has flipped upside down and like I've said time and time again, it is honestly a blessing to experience the stuff that I've done in the last two years. I, I, I couldn't imagine myself doing um, in my lifetime. And this, this is definitely one of the most special moments for me. I tell you what is special, Miles, is seeing you looking clean <laughs> for the first time in about three weeks. Now, come on, you're a young man who looks after himself. I can't believe you weren't showering. <laughs> stink lack of showers. Yes. <laughs> Listen, listen, guys, don't give me too much slack for that, all right? I was using Femme Fresh on my days of non-showering, OK? I was using Femme Fresh on my armpits and on the uh, crown jewels. I was using Femme Fresh. Um, <laughs> uh, but it was four days that I didn't take a physical shower. Was it just shower. that it was freezing cold? Sheps, do you know how cold that was? <laughs> like, the, the shower is so cold, it's ridiculous. I was like, nope, I, I'm just going to leave the shower till tomorrow. And then five days went, uh, four days went, sorry, and, and I, then I realised, after I smelt my armpit, that <laughs> I'd better shower now. <laughs> what are you going to miss most, do you think, the now that you're fresh, out clearly. of the jungle? I mean, apart from the fact that you have to have a shower now on a regular basis... I know, right? I had the best shower ever just a minute ago. But um, <laughs> the thing that I'll miss the most um, is creating memories. Um, I brought a disposable camera in with me and I took some amazing photos with some iconic people. Um, the friendship and the bonds that we've built and I've built with these people has been honestly so special to me. Um, I would see myself laying in a hammock at night and I was tearing up because... I've learnt so much about every single last person in there. Like I know, I know the names of all of their family members mm. basically, and 
and that's something that I'll never get to experience again with such a special group of people. It is clearly a life-changing experience. We hear that so often. Uh, we're nearly out of time, Miles, so we've got to ask you, who would you like to win? Who do you think might win? Wow. Um, I would like to say I would love every single one of them to win. Um, I, I honestly couldn't pick, but what... I would like, although I love Roman, he's my brother, and I absolutely adore Andy, I would love an all-female final, I think. I think that would be some inspirational stuff right there. So, yeah, uh, all-female final, um, any one of the girls to win. Well, look, you've been an absolute star in there, Miles. Really proud of you, mate. Yeah, Can't wait to see you when you get back you. here as well. Uh, it's lovely you. to have you talk to us. The, yes, the, we'll catch up. We will. The, the new public face of FemFresh there, uh, <laughs> yes, Miles Stevenson. And they <laughs> absolutely <laughs> Go and have a nice meal now and maybe have a <laughs> another shower when you get back, just to make sure. Miles, Great, thanks nice. ever so much.